And when I looked at the handlebars, there was a claw. Welcome everybody, thanks for tuning in today. We've got a quick and dirty light review here on the Olite RN1500. Now, it's summer. Typically, we do a lot of our light reviews in the spring and fall as the days get shorter, but lately it has been really hot and uh, we're kind of waiting to the temperatures drop down in the evenings and getting out a little bit later at night and Sometimes a light like this is a, a pretty good way to get out on the trails, get a little bit more riding in, whether it's in the shoulder seasons or in winter, um, or just maximize that uh, those fading hours of daylight here in the summer. So this is a, a pretty awesome little option here at $79.95. They've been kind enough to give us a discount code for our fans. So use Wolfpack for 10% off on this light. Um, and we're gonna get into some of the details and show you guys what it looks like in the dark. So, comes in a pretty cool little uh, carrying case. Um, they sent us two, that way we'd have a freshie for this review. Uh, really nice detailed IKEA level instructions. And as you can see, presentation, very nice. Here we go. So they use a Garmin style mount, uh, which if you don't use a Garmin like myself, I'll explain that to you. It basically goes in at an angle and twists and locks. Um, so quick, easy, if you've got a Garmin mount already, um, you got that. If not, it comes with some different length uh, band. So depending on if you're running 35 mil bars or you know if you wanna run this maybe on like a, like one of those old school kind of bar, like round bar mount adapters on a helmet easy to do easy to customize how this goes uh, something else that was really neat is it comes with a gopro mount as well um, so it's got the garmin attachment on this side and then a gopro mount so if your helmet has like an integrated uh, click-in system for a gopro mount you can put that up there probably no you're not gonna want to do that on the visor but you can put it up top if you got a gopro mount there so that is something that's really neat um, we're big fans of running a bar and helmet mounted light um, if you're serious about night riding if it's something that you're doing regularly if it's just something that you want to keep in your pack and maybe the last couple miles of a ride or to and from the trail are in the dark then you know something like this it, it will suffice right at 80 bucks 1500 lumens this is going to be more than enough to get you home or finish up the last few miles of a ride so uh, we'll talk about settings high medium low and then there are two flash settings um, in high i believe they claim the uh the usage time is 100 minutes so if you're running at full 1500 you got a about just over an hour and a half ride time if you put the light down into the medium which is 750 lumens you're gonna have a four hour run time which is pretty solid um, and if you put it into the low, which is 300 watts, you will have a 12 and a half hour runtime. So really solid run times for a pretty compact all in one unit. So the light is pretty compact. As you can see, it weighs in uh, just over six ounces, about four, just under four and a quarter inches long, and about one and a quarter inches wide. Um, so pretty compact, not too big. I mean, if you wanted, you could stuff it in a bib pocket or, you know, in a pack pretty easily doesn't weigh a ton um, at six ounces you'll you will notice this up on a helmet um, particularly if it's not a really snug or secure fitting helmet but um, you know there's not many lights that are gonna not be noticeable out on the helmet so we've been running this primarily on the handlebars of our bikes and as a kind of one and only light to finish up a ride it's been more than sufficient so uh, charging and discharging can be done through USB-C port here in the back um, so you can very easily charge this thing up if you want to plug in a light, uh, well, another light, cell phone, uh, other smaller accessories, you can actually charge it off of this battery, which is really nice. Uh, speaking of battery, it is a 21700 cell uh, battery with a 5000 milliamp hour battery. Um, 
it gets warm, but uh, it's reliable, they're safe, they do what they need to do, and uh, overall, it's, it's a pretty solid unit there. Now, as far as light and output goes, it projects a pretty solid beam. If you look closely right here, you see magic shine, and it's also something that you'll notice right here on this box. Now, Olight might be a light brand that a lot of you guys aren't familiar with or maybe you haven't heard from. Um, they do a lot in the weapons light and uh, flashlight field. That's kind of like big spots for these guys. Headlamps, flashlights, um, hiking and outdoors stuff. So uh, to be honest, we didn't really know that they made a lot of lights, but Mag Magic Shine is definitely a brand we've heard of and I'm sure a lot of other mountain bikers have. So. Um, exactly what the partnership is there with Magic Shine, I have to admit, we don't really know yet. We've reached out um, and normally they're very responsive, but we just didn't get a reply back in time. So I'm going to assume that the partnership with Magic Shine is going to be in the beam and light technology. And um, obviously, if you look at the lights, they're very similar to the Magic Shine lights. However, I would say I like the look of this one a little bit better than Magic Shine kind of flares up and is a little bit taller. They've got a 1500 lumen unit as well. It's a bit more expensive than this one. And it also seems like it flares up a little bit taller. Um, it, I think it's like a little bit lighter by maybe a half an ounce or so. Um, uh, dimensions are roughly the same though. So that being said, powering on, cycling through, really easy. Top mounted button. You can hold it and that will get you your on off modes and kind of cycle through your different power settings here. Super easy to do. Um, little Allen key right here, uh, cinch it up on your handlebar and that is your system guys. 80 bucks, 1500 lumens, a pretty solid runtime. It's hard to not recommend something like this when it just doesn't cost that much and it does what you need it to do. Uh, plain and simple. Would I buy this if I was, you know, going out weekly for one, two, three hour night rides? Um, probably not as a standalone unit. I would possibly consider it as like a helmet light and get something much bigger for the handlebar. If you are a habitual night rider, um, you know, this may not be the ideal setup for you but a ride extender, uh, an emergency light, something that's gonna just kind of extend that last little bit of daylight. Definitely recommend something like this. It's a great unit. As you can see by the light beam, the pattern, it throws it 164 meters. Um, it, it definitely puts out a pretty solid amount of light, a good tone of light. Um, it's something that, that really gives you a pretty solid depth perception. It doesn't highlight or blow out certain stuff. For an $80 light, Olight has done a very good job of making something that's really easy to recommend and will extend the fun well after the sun has gone down. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this simple little video. Don't forget to use Wolfpack at checkout for 10% off any applicable items. And uh, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you out on the trails.